bitch. Lamar and Red, let's call her dead. Yeah. Tragedy for residents along Southern Oaks Boulevard has become too familiar, and the answers to why are still distant. Why? Why are they doing this? I don't know. I can't even tell you myself. This resident does not want to share her identity, but says she's lived at the Signature at Southern Oaks Boulevard for years and has seen the gun violence, the latest being Friday night around 9. Dallas police responded to a shooting inside the complex. The resident tells us she first heard arguing and then gunfire. Just popping, just, just, blah, 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 blah. just kept going. Police identified the victim as 16-year-old Traylon Darian Henderson. Another one. Just it's the second child killed in this complex that resident CJ Bell has experienced in just over a year. An 11 year old boy was shot and killed in January of last year, an innocent bystander when a nearby fight escalated. Something needs to happen here because things like that happen all the time. And it's just sad. Like, this kid is dying. A resident tells me that this is where the body was found, right at that picnic table behind me in the courtyard where they say a lot of kids hang out here. And that is their main concern. They need to have cameras because it's very, very important because innocent people can get hurt for no reason. A fear and a reminder because just about five hours later and blocks away, a second shooting along the same street. Dallas police say they found the body of 38-year-old Victor Taylor, who had been shot. Dallas police also say they do not believe Taylor's death or Henderson's are related, while both remain under investigation. People, please put your guns down because we don't need that. I'm praying that people do better. A prayer still hoping to be answered. In Dallas, I'm Brittany Moncrease. On the 1st of March, 2024, at approximately 8.50 p.m., Dallas police responded to a shooting call in the 3,300 block of Southern Oaks Boulevard. The preliminary investigation determined when officers arrived. They found Channel 4 member Traylon shot at the scene. A video would emerge shortly after the shooting of Traylon laying face down with his pants down taking his last breaths, before being transported to a hospital where he succumbed to his injuries. The story goes, Channel 4 Mar and Traylon were in four EP apartments, a gang located in Oak Cliff just chilling with their members when Mar told Traylon it's time to go. As Mar and Traylon proceeded to walk off, 4 EP opens fire shooting Traylon in the back and leg, that being the reason why Traylon's pants are off in the video that surfaced after the shooting. He tried seeing where he was hit. Not even a full 24 hours after Traylon was shot and killed Traylon's killer's brother was beat up in jail. Channel 4 Mark would post a video to Instagram spinning four EP apartments just three days after Traylon was killed in that same apartment complex. Little did Mark know gang unit had been on their trail and was about to close in. On March 16, 2023, family and friends of Traylon are remembering him at his funeral when suddenly they're interrupted by gang unit arresting grieving Channel 4 members in attendance. I don't see nobody on the game. I got Mikey, I got my show.
Which one you want me to bring out? I could bring 20s, or I could bring out the blues. Full time rapping and just keep snaking, help me. Nigga, I don't know what to do. We really hop out, leave shit vacant. That's why they call us the landlord crew. Wherever I go, now that switch to a nigga across me is acting heat. I ain't positive yet, but I bet when I do know a couple of niggas gonna be sick. Nigga, I left at the perfect time. Couple of days, I'm already lit. Smoking on right herder, nigga, I left that dust step pot and left him on a leak. Wanna put some my nigga, I left at the perfect time. Couple of days, I'm already lit. Smoking on right herder. Nigga, I left that dust step pot and left him on a leaf. Wanna put some? We got the drop from a little thigh hoe. Nigga was tripping that neck. Uh, nigga, I thug his race. I spin in the bucket. I don't need no scat. Uh, right, right down on the link. Now we bagging him up about the threat. Uh, nigga, I thug his race. I spin in the bucket. I don't need no scat. Uh, right, right down on the link. Now we bagging him up about the threat. I got a cheese. The chicken left right, right. I couldn't believe. The chicken left right, right. I couldn't believe. Ray Glizzy was shot and killed after an attempted robbery on February 10, 2024. PCE member Chicken, who is cousins of PCE rappers Rundown 4, and no face is the man that can be seen on video running on Ray Glizzy with a chop in his hand after an attempted robbery went horribly wrong. Chicken couldn't run from law enforcement and was arrested a week after the incident took place on the 17th of February, 2024. Though Gadea and incarcerated K4M associates would violate Chicken making him apologize for dissing. Yeah. Yeah. Was that a little chicken? Gonna say sorry for the dissing, bitch. Yeah, I hear him. <laughs> yeah. On January 25th, 2024, Joshua Porter was found with a gunshot wound inside his car on W. Wheatland Road in Dallas's Red Bird neighborhood. Porter was pronounced dead at the scene. Police announced 19-year-old Chaz Booth was charged with capital murder on Thursday, March 7th. Ashton Thomas, also known as Shaw Osama, 19, Knowledge Jennings, 18, and Kendrick Jennings, 20, had previously been charged with capital murder. The fatal encounter happened during an alleged transaction involving the sale of marijuana. Dallas police informed that upon reviewing surveillance footage, they observed a detailed series of events leading to the shooting. The video captured the suspects arriving before Porter, two of them exiting their vehicle to scout the vicinity. As Porter arrived, he was swiftly approached in his car. The suspects tried to open the doors to Porter's vehicle, which led him to accelerate and flee, resulting in bullets fired that ultimately took his life. Through investigation, a detective identified the vehicle with a fake paper tag involved in the incident as Jennings. During a subsequent traffic stop on an unrelated Garland warrant, Jennings was arrested and a firearm believed to have been used in the shooting was found in the vehicle. In a statement obtained by FOX4 News, Jennings admitted his involvement in the plan to rob Porter, citing peer pressure as a reason for his participation. Jennings is currently held in the Dallas County Jail with bail set at $750,000. The Dallas County Jail has him charged with capital murder. 
reflecting the severity of a crime that has left a young life lost and a community in search of answers and justice. Like, comment, and subscribe for more Dallas Drill documentaries. YouTube just recently disabled my last account. I won't let them stop me from documenting these stories. Rest in peace to everyone that was mentioned in this video.